to safeguard the well-being of our preschool community, our students and our staff, we will be suspending general services of all preschools and student care centres from the 8th of April to the 4th of May. Parents should keep their children at home during this period. Many preschools have home-based learning resources to support parents during this period. The Early Childhood Development Agency, or EGDA, is consolidating resources developed by various preschools to a single website for parents' convenience. And we will share the link with parents next week. EGDA will automatically waive the minimum attendance requirement for preschool subsidies in April, while MSF will waive the minimum attendance requirement for the student care fee assistance subsidies in April. In essence, all subsidies for preschool and student care will continue to be disbursed during this period. But preschools will remain open to serve parents who have to continue to work in the essential services and who are unable to find alternative caregiving arrangements. And these would include those working in services like in healthcare and in other services that Minister Chan had articulated earlier. Priority will be given to children of healthcare workers, children of low wage or daily wage workers, as well as children from vulnerable families with no support. Parents should contact your, your child's preschool for further assistance. And for primary school-going children enrolled at various student care centres, parents should approach the child's primary school for further assistance. Now, during this time, MSF will suspend or reduce non-essential and non-urgent services. But the following services will remain open. Our social service officers or SSOs will remain open so Singaporeans in need can continue to get social and financial assistance with the appropriate safe distancing measures put in place. And these include the Temporary Relief Fund, or TRF, the COVID-19 Support Grant, or CSG, as well as other Comcare assistance schemes. Now, on Wednesday, applications for the Temporary Relief Fund, or TRF, began. And so far, about 60,000 applications have been submitted by Singaporeans. My colleagues at the SSOs and from the CCs under the People's Association are working hard to get affected Singaporeans the support that they need, and I seek uh, everyone's understanding during this time. Applications are open for the Temporary Relief Fund until the 30th of April, and there is no need to rush. With the latest measures in place, we will step up safe distancing for the application of the Temporary Relief Fund in the following ways. First, we will be launching an online application form next week and an online system to reduce the need for applicants to travel out to apply. We will provide more details soon. Second, for those people who feel that they still need to attend physically, uh, to obtain and to fill in forms, they can continue to go to the SSOs and community centres, but we'll provide the forms for them to take, to fill in at their convenience and time at home, and a box for them to drop off. There will be assistance provided on site for those applicants who find difficulty uh, in completing the forms or who have further queries or need for further assistance. Second, residential homes will continue to serve our vulnerable, including our seniors, persons who are destitute, persons with disability, and children and youth under statutory care and rehabilitation. MSF services and funded social service agencies involved in crisis interventions for serious, high-risk and urgent cases will also continue to operate. These include cases of family violence, child abuse, self-harm, and self-abuse. The National Council of Social Service, or NCSS, is helping our members 
build up their capability to provide services using technology and remote means during this time. They will continue to work closely with our social service agencies and charities that provide important services to support the day-to-day -day living of vulnerable Singaporeans, such as food support, and to ensure the continuity of their services. And while these measures will cause inconvenience, they are necessary to protect everyone's health and safety, and we seek your understanding and cooperation on this.